able to get it done with another receiver besides Fred Davis, 83, and Patrick Turner, number one. Ronald Johnson, a lot of high hopes for him, and John David not happy with how it's gone so far in this game. But that's a big, big play for the Trojans after the Cardinals to score a touchdown. They got to keep going. It's a big third down for the Cardinals. A big third down for USC. They want to get the ball back, get some more points, and put this thing out of reach for the Cardinals. Stanford, 4 of 12, just under their season average. The third down conversion drive. Richard flushed in the pocket, rolling left, throws back against the green. Bradford with a nice catch. Out near midfield, brought down by Mal Luga. Kind of back against the green pass. Davida Pritchard, who's looking pretty good all of a sudden. 17 yards, first down Stanford. Here they come again. This will be from the 16, a 26-yarder. Snap back, kick is away. And this one is also good. Let me go back. Let me go back. Wide to the right side go Hazelton and Turner. Reed picks up the blue, the blitz for a moment. Booty throws a wobbler. It's intercepted by Stanford at the 40. They'll bring it back to the 50. To the Trojan 45. It's stuck there at the 45-yard line. And the Stanford Cardinal down by only six points with two minutes and 50 seconds remaining in the game. Have a first and 10 at the UFC 45-yard line. John David Booty just a little high that time on the in route to Patrick Turner. Ball came out funny, a little wobbly. What a great opportunity for the Cardinals to take it down against this Trojan defense and win the football game. Second down at the 45 on the Trojan side of the field for Stanford trailing by six. Pritchard rolls the pocket again. Throws over the middle, incomplete. Should be a flag, there it is. Again, the Trojan penalty mistake. Supposed to clean it up in this game and they haven't done it. Well, they're going to go for the six instead of the thinking that only they're not going to have another shot. Yeah. You got an onside kick drive. You make the field goal. Got to get pressure on Richard. Drops the pass. Waiting. Waiting. Throws over the middle. It is complete down to the 10-yard line, and that's going to be that's very close down. to a first down that to Richard is, Sherman. Yeah. Wow. At about the nine and a half, and I think he's got the first he down does. inside the 10 with a minute 39 to go. What a pass by Tavita Richard. Going to bring in the chains for the measurement, but where they have marked this ball at the nine, that looks like a first down. Could be the difference between a possible national championship and not. Let's find out. It is first down Stanford by about two football lengths. Fantastic throw and a great catch. He got hit by Kevin Ellison right as he caught it. Moore goes over to the left. Matched up with Terrell Thomas. To the right, Bradford. He's up against Terry Harris. Back to in the eye. Third and goal from the five. Throwing for more. Overthrow. Knocked away by Terrell Thomas. Fourth and goal from the five and a half. A great defense by Terrell Thomas. So it comes down to this. Fourth and goal for Stanford. Trying for the upset. Against USC at the Coliseum. A 40 and a half point dog. With 54 seconds remaining. Trailing by six. Fourth down and goal to go from the 10. Fourth down and game to go. Over to the right side. Pritchard will throw for the end zone. It is caught. Touchdown, Stanford. Touchdown, Stanford. And they've tied the ball game with an extra point to come. And the Trojans are now 49 seconds away from being upset at home by the Stanford Cardinals. And the home winning streak is in serious, serious jeopardy now. Wow. An absolutely stunned crowd here at the Coliseum standing black jawed cannot believe what they are witnessing nice job of going up it's a really a nice throw it's a really nice throw up high up high over the head of Mozik McCurtis Trojan defense has done a great job blocking extra points and field goals they did so this week working on that 49 seconds and no timeouts left wow snap Back, place down, kick is up, and the kick is good. And the Stanford Cardinal have the lead. How do you do? So a face mask at about the 25 will bring it out to the 40-yard line. Now you're thinking about Beeler, 28 yards from here and 45 seconds from here. Osbury to the right. And John David Booty is sacked, and there are no timeouts left. And so the Trojans have to hustle. 31, 30 seconds left. It looks impossible from this point as John David Booty slams the ball down to the curb on the spike, bringing up a third and 16, and the Trojans are two plays away from falling from the ranks of the unbeaten. 
Three receivers set. John David Booty takes the snap from Matt Spanos, drops the throw, finds Patrick Turner, and he drops the ball. Had the ball at the Stanford 40-yard line and dropped it. And that would put the Trojans knocking on the door of a long field goal. Oh. Had the ball at the Stanford 35-yard line. Now run the same play. Let's see what happens. Fourth down and 16. This is it for the Trojans. The game will be over if they don't get a first down. Booty drops the pass, throws as he's hit. Trojan receiver is knocked down. It's intercepted. Stanford will win the ball game. Bo McNally will bring it back. The Trojan receiver was knocked down to the 45. They see how that happened. Red Davis, Davis either fell down or was knocked down. Stanford intercepts, and they will win the football game. And the Trojan 35-game home winning streak is over, and the 24-game home winning streak in the Pac-10 is over, and Stanford has come to Los Angeles and done something that nobody thought they could possibly do. They've upset the USC Trojans here in the Coliseum. Davida Pritchard, all he has to do is take a knee, and he has performed a miracle as the Stanford team pours out onto the field. As the clock will wind down, under five seconds to go, the Trojans don't even bother shaking hands at the center of the field. Stanford celebrates a miraculous victory here at the Coliseum. The Stanford Cardinal have upset USC. The final score, Stanford 24, USC 23. Next week, October 30th. The camera's on Stanford, baby! I've seen two totally separate pieces of sportsmanship here tonight. When this game ended and Stanford poured off of their sideline and out to the center of the field, I was a bit surprised and somewhat embarrassed for my university's football team for running off of the field without shaking hands with their opponents. And then, after Stanford just a moment ago had gone over to the far corner of the Coliseum, when they turned and ran back across in front of this press box side of the Coliseum, the USC fans down below us applauded the Stanford football team for what they've done here tonight. A 40 and a half point underdog. My hat's off to the Trojan fans who, by and large, are standing in stunned disbelief here at the Coliseum, not really even trying to make their way towards the exit as much as they're trying to figure out what the heck happened yeah. here tonight.